Welcome back. Today we will provide you another mock interview to help you prepare for your citizenship interview. Because of the pandemic, many interview procedures have changed. We want to make sure you are familiar with the new format. This mock interview is based on actual applicants' experiences during the pandemic. Without further ado, let's start. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. What time is your appointment? 9.30. Please wait for another 15 minutes. We are only allowing applicants to come into the facility 15 minutes before your appointment. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. I will wait in my car then. Hi, I'm back. Can I see your appointment letter and your ID, please? Sure, here you go. Thank you. I have a few questions for you before letting you in. Please answer them truthfully. Of course. Have you had any symptoms of COVID-19, including cough, fever, or difficulty breathing? No. Have you been in close contact with anyone known or suspected to have COVID-19 in the last 14 days? No. Have you been directed to self-quarantine or self-isolate by a healthcare provider or public health official within the last 14 days? No. Have you traveled out of the country within the last 14 days? No. Great, you may come in now. Please make sure to have your mask on the whole time unless instructed otherwise. Thank you. Please put all of your belongings, including your shoes and jacket, into the bin and then walk through the metal detector. Okay. Here are your appointment letter and your driver's license. Please take all of your belongings and go to the window on your right. There will be markings on the floor. Please pay close attention to the markings and follow social distancing guidelines. Thank you. Good morning. Hi, I'm here for my citizenship interview. Great. Can I have your appointment letter and your green card, please? Sure. Here you go. Excellent. I found your appointment. Can you please put your left index finger on the scanner for me? Thank you. Now your right index finger. Thank you. Now please remove your mask and look at the camera. I need to take a picture of you. Great, thank you. You can put your mask back on now. There's also hand sanitizer on the right if you need any. Thank you. Here's your letter and your green card. And here's your number. We will call you when your appointment is ready. Again, please make sure to have your mask on the entire time unless instructed otherwise. And practice social distancing. Thank you. Z21, Koi Lei. That's me. Hi, I'm Officer Smith. Please follow me. Good morning, officer. Of course. Please take a seat. You will remain in this room and I will conduct our interview virtually today through this iPad.
I will be in the next room. Please have your passport, ID, and green card ready and show me them through the iPad when I ask. The printer will print out paper that I need you to write on or sign from time to time. Did you bring a black or blue pen by any chance? Yes, I did. Perfect. Do you have any other questions before I leave you here? No. Okay. After I leave the room, you can take off your mask if you want. Okay. Thank you. I will see you in a minute on the iPad. Hi, Mr. Lay. Can you hear and see me? Yes, I can. Great. I can hear you too. Before we begin the interview, I need to place you under oath. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the statements you will give today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Thank you. You can lower your right hand now. Can you show me your driver's license, your green card, and the first page of your passport through the camera? Perfect. Thank you. Now let's start with the English reading and writing test. Please read the sentence on the iPad for me, please. What are the colors of the American flag? Great. Now for the writing part. The printer will print out a page. I will read you a sentence and I need you to write that down on the page. When you're done, show me the page through the camera. Are you ready? Yes. The American flag is red, white, and blue. Great. Let's move on to the civics questions. Have you been studying? Yes, I have been studying since I applied. Great. Let's start then. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two years. Correct. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Good. What are two cabinet level positions? Attorney General and Vice President. Very good. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Great. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? There will be vote and run for office. Perfect. Who was the first president? George Washington. All right, you got all six correct and passed this portion of the interview. Now let's go over your application. Please let me know if any of your answers have changed since submitting the application. Okay. How long have you been a lawful permanent resident? I have been a lawful permanent resident for about six years. And when did you become a permanent resident? I got my green card on August 2nd, 2015. Okay. What is your full name? Koi Lei. 
And have you used any other names? No. Do you want to legally change your name? Yes. Okay, just a reminder, because of the delays caused by COVID-19, if you want to change your name, it may take up to a year. And because of that, you will have to wait about a year to have the oath ceremony. Do you still want to change your name? Really? Hmm, if that's the case, I don't want to change my name then. Okay, so I want to confirm that you want to keep your current name, correct? Correct. All right, what is your date of birth? December 1st, 1997. And where were you born? Hanoi, Vietnam. Are you a citizen of Vietnam? Yes. And where are you currently living? 542 Dickens Street, Los Angeles, California. And how long have you been living at this address? I've been living there since August 2012. Has your address changed since you submitted your application form? No. What is your phone number with the area code? 310-559-1234 Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? No, they are not. Okay. Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Yes, they were. Are you currently employed? Uh, Yes, I am. Where do you work? I worked at Edward Life Sciences. And how long have you been working there? About three years. I see. What do you do? I'm a product development engineer. Okay. Have you spent time outside of the United States for the past five years? I'm sorry, officer. You are breaking up a little bit. Can you repeat the question again? Sure. Have you spent any time outside of the United States for the past five years? Oh, okay. Yes, I have. How many trips have you taken for the past five years? I have taken three trips. Have you taken any trips since you applied for citizenship? No, I haven't. Okay. Are you currently single, married, divorced, or widowed? I am married. And how many times have you been married? Once only. Can you please show me your marriage certificate through the camera? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. When did you get married? I got married on September 14th, 2019. Is your wife a U.S. citizen? Yes, she is. What's her name? Vivian Kim. Do you have any children together? Yes, I have a daughter. When was she born? She was born on May 6, 2020. Congratulations. Is she a U.S. citizen? Yes, officer. And what is your child's relationship to you? She's my biological child. Okay. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, I've never done that. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent? or been confined to a mental institution? No, I have not. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I always pay my taxes on time. Good. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No, never. Do you know what offense means? 
it means minor crime or violation of law. Good. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? No. How about a terrorist organization? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No, I have not. Okay. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No, I have not either. Did you ever register for the Selective Service? Sorry, officer. I didn't realize I had to register for the Selective Service until I was applying for citizenship. I'm over 26 years of age now. I included the status information letter from the Selective Service in my application, and I also brought a copy in case you need it. Thank you. I see the status information letter here and also your statement. Not a problem. You're okay. Let's continue. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. And what is the form of government of the United States? A democratic republic. Great. What is an oath of allegiance to the United States? That means a promise to be loyal to the United States. Correct. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. How about performing non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? I'm willing to. Do you understand what non-combatant services means? Yes, services that do not engage in combat or fighting. Good. How about performing work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to do that also. Great. There will be some paper coming out of the printer. Please make sure to review all of the answers and confirm they are accurate. Then sign and date the last page. Okay, everything looks good and I signed and dated it. Wonderful. You can leave the page there. Well, congratulations! You passed the interview and I will recommend your application for approval. The printer will print out a copy of the N652 form for your reference. That's great! Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you know when I will be able to take the oath ceremony? Unfortunately, our facility doesn't offer same-day oath ceremonies. If your application gets approved, you will be scheduled for the oath ceremony within a week or two. Most likely, it will be a drive-through oath ceremony. Just make sure to bring your green card and answer all of the questions on the notice. Okay, great. Thank you. When you are ready, you can leave the room and go back out. Just make sure to put your mask on before you leave. Thank you. I will. Have a great day and thank you again. You are very welcome. Good luck. Can you hear and see me? Great. I can hear you too. Before we begin the interview, I need to place you under oath. Please raise your right hand. 
Do you swear or affirm that the statements you will give today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Thank you. You can lower your right hand now. Can you show me your driver's license, your green card, and the first page of your passport through the camera? Perfect, thank you. Now let's start with the English reading and writing test. Please read the sentence on the iPad for me, please. Great, now for the writing part. The printer will print out a page. I will read you a sentence and I need you to write that down on the page. When you're done, show me the page through the camera. Are you ready? The American flag is red, white, and blue. Great. Let's move on to the civics questions. Have you been studying? Great, let's start then. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Correct. Who was president during World War I? Good. What are two cabinet level positions? Very good. What is the rule of law? Great. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Perfect. Who was the first president? All right, you got all six correct and passed this portion of the interview. Now let's go over your application. Please let me know if any of your answers have changed since submitting the application. How long have you been a lawful permanent resident? And when did you become a permanent resident? Okay, what is your full name? And have you used any other names? Do you want to legally change your name? All right. What is your date of birth? And where were you born? And where are you currently living? And how long have you been living at this address? Has your address changed since you submitted your application form? What is your phone number with the area code? Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? Okay, were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Are you currently employed? Where do you work? And how long have you been working there? I see, what do you do? Okay, have you spent time outside of the United States for the past five years? Sure. Have you spent any time outside of the United States 
for the past five years? How many trips have you taken for the past five years? Have you taken any trips since you applied for citizenship? Okay. Are you currently single, married, divorced, or widowed? And how many times have you been married? Can you please show me your marriage certificate through the camera? Thank you. When did you get married? Do you have any children together? When was she born? And what is your child's relationship to you? Okay. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Good. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Do you know what offense means? Good. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? How about a terrorist organization? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Okay. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Did you ever register for the Selective Service? Not a problem. You're okay. Let's continue. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? And what is the form of government of the United States? Great. What is an oath of allegiance to the United States? Correct. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? How about performing non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Do you understand what non-combatant services means? Good. How about performing work of national importance under civilian direction? Great. There will be some paper coming out of the printer. Please make sure to review all of the answers and confirm they are accurate. Then sign and date the last page. Wonderful. You can leave the page there. Well, congratulations. You passed the interview and I will recommend your application for approval. The printer will print out a copy of the N-652 form for your reference. You're welcome. When you are ready, you can leave the room and go back out. Just make sure to put your mask on before you leave. You are very welcome. Good luck.